hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i'm gonna talk about one of the important document which we create as a part of uh, uh, testing life cycle which is known as test plan so most of us sometimes uh, worried like what all things should be included in a test plan so i'll try to cover what all things really require to be added as a part of test planning okay so the first part the first thing is objective right like why exactly we are creating this test plan who is creating this test plan for what or for which customer we are creating this test plan okay so so why we are creating who is creating when i say who your company name and i mean for which or uh, what is the reason of creation okay or maybe you can specify the project name or the other company name if it is there okay so why we are creating we are creating for whom we are creating okay now once it is defined okay that this document is created for this particular reason now what all things should be included so the first thing is scope that is the four most important thing okay scope of testing like what all things required or considered as a part of scope okay when i say scope it could be like what all functionalities needs to be tested okay if uh, what all different type of testings are considered okay when i say type of testing again it could be manual or you can say automation if automation how much you are going to automate if if there is any specific customer ask right you need to mention performance if required then you can say data validation if it is in scope right so these all things will be uh, a part of scope okay and you can also mention uh, yeah as a part of scope i think this is enough now let's go what is out of scope okay you need to mention okay so when i say out of scopes whatever is not mentioned in in scope section is out of scope for us okay so in that case everybody will be concentrate on scope of testing if he have added all the required things or not okay correct so once these two things are done our next part should be is risk we should highlight what are the risk okay so when i say risk it could be anything let's say a uh, specific for uh, performance testing uh build deployment right if the builds are not getting deployed on proper times if you don't have a specific environment for performance testing if you don't have a specific environment for your your testing right and uh, if uh, development is not completed something like that right within uh, specified time frame okay so these kind of risk you can highlight already 
saying that okay if development will not be done within a specific uh, time then we, we could not carry the entire testing part then we need to plan something else right now you can write entry and exit criteria right there should be criteria to exit also and to start also right your testing when i say entry criteria it will be like uh, mm, like build should be deployed right okay and uh, all the bbt related test cases should be passed right build verification test cases or you can say unit test cases for dev team in some cases this will be your entry criteria i will say okay and uh, your environment should be ready A required test data has been given and uh, accesses all the required accesses you have so if everything you have what is required for the testing then you can start your testing okay so this is your entry criteria when i say exit criteria so when all the test cases all the test case execution all the test cases are passed basically not just execution none of the bugs open if there is any single bug which is open then it will be a conditional sign of if it is required else your testing is not completed okay that's it so this is your exit criteria or then the last one is maybe the time frame right let's say you have given two weeks of time and the time is finished obviously your uh, testing will be finished right because sometimes even all the test cases passed you say you since you have time you can carry ahead with one more day of testing but you didn't saw and then you can say okay my testing is over after that the next thing is uat release criteria why it is important see sometimes even though we are testing few bugs are pending right so in that case we can say our criteria will be like no p1 and s1 bug should be open okay p1 or even p2 also right ideally all the bugs should be closed but if not then at least p1 and p2 and s1 and s2 should be closed okay next uh 95% of test cases should be passed at least right then in that case only you can say you are good to go with the ut release or more obviously if you have 100 test cases passed so all 100% test cases passed then you can go ahead right so you can in that you can also mention sorry for the indentation okay if not then you can have this plan at least okay you can say but again it will be based on the discussion with manager customer and ag agreed right how they if they agreed on this then only you can confirm but this should be your yeah, as a part of plan right so this will be your really uat release criteria now you can mention what will be your testing approach you need to come up with the approach as well right right how, how you wanted to plan your testing okay like what are, what type of functional testing you will be doing right right 
right Wh what all things you will be doing like let's say sometimes they say like we will not validate the data we will just validate the functions or we can validate with the specific uh, feature only right and and other things right we can uh, execute all uat test cases as well as a part of testing approach we can uh, run regression test cases after every release right or after before uh, giving the release or giving the sign off it's up to you you can then smoke test before uh, starting the actual testing you need uh, let's say uh, what to say uh, i forget <clears throat> you need unit test cases case should be passed right so this is how you can you can you can you can approach uh, your testing like uh, let's say if unit test case is passed then only you will start your testing then you will first go ahead with smoke test then you will execute your functional test then you will execute your regression test then in the end maybe you can do some performance tests right and other things so you can plan accordingly these things should be included as a part of your test approach okay now inside sprint if you have some specific strategy you can mention over here let's come under testing strategy maybe for a sprint right let's say for sprint i'm just giving an example for sprint first uh, six days maybe for development and rest three to four three days for testing and one day for retesting i'm just giving you an example okay so this kind of approach or strategy you can have okay you can you can have a recurring meeting right recurring call with dev team for bug triage so these kind of things you can set up in your strategy okay now after this you should come up with your testing uh, yeah testing reports like what all things you will be considering as a part of report okay like uh, bug uh, like bug de bug density right or uh, or bug age or something right i'm not getting the exact word but i'm just telling you right these things are matrices for test cases test case execution bug matrix for uh, for the different bug status okay so these type of reports you need to publish then you should be having uh, and then you should be having test case creation one creation template like which one you are using okay and uh, traceability matrix okay and walkthroughs like by which by whom you are uh, just reviewing your test cases okay okay yeah so these things you need to add now after that you can mention testing tools sorry like for test case writing which tool you are using okay test case writing tool how you are creating okay what kind of structure will be there bug tracking tool 
ओके बग लाइफ साइकिल ओके ट्राइज बग क्लासिफिकेशन हाउ यू विल क्लासिफाई इफ इट इज अ पी वन पी टू और व्हाट व्हाट ऑल थिंग्स ओके सो दीज थिंग्स यू नीड टू मेंशन एंड दैट्स इट आई थिंक that's all so these are the important things which you need to consider while you create your test plan make sure you add all these things while you create your test plan it will help you so i hope this will video will help you guys thank you thanks a lot